Hi everybody, welcome to part three, the last part of the Amazon QuickSight series. My name is Brianna Batacchio, I'm a senior cloud engineer, and I'm here with Eagle Dream Technologies, a premier AWS partner. So today we'll be going into the advanced features of Amazon QuickSight. Let's get into it. Hi everybody, let's get into some of the advanced features of QuickSight. So in our last two videos, we imported data and created some basic visuals. So check those out if you have any questions. Let's go back to the report we created in the last video. We have a pivot table and a pie chart below. Let's add some filters. So right now we have a lot of data. We have everything from January to July. Let's say that you only want the first quarter of data to show up in your report. Let's add a filter. So we go to filters on the left. You can click create one and we're going to filter by the date. So we'll select that field. If we click on the name, we have more options. Let's wait for the page to load. All right, so we have this filter set to only on this visual, which means that it would only apply to this graph. Let's apply it to all the graphs. Right, we want to filter by, we can choose a time range, relative dates, Let's do relative dates and do the last four months. And click apply to make sure this changes save. As we can see, we have the last four months of data. You can click the back arrow and let's add another filter. Let's filter by customer name. Because it's a string, we can create a filter list or match it to a specific string. So it's generating a custom list of all of the unique fields. Let's only choose the clothing store data. So let's select that and click apply. And now we can see all of the clothing store data for the last four months. This one's set to only this visual. So if we scroll down, the pie graph still shows all of our sales data for all of our stores. As you can see, the differentiation between the two icons on the left during the filters. All right, now let's create a calculated field. Let's reformat all of our customer names so they're in all uppercase. So let's click Add, Add Calculated Fields. Our function list is on the left, so let's scroll through and see if we find something that sounds familiar. All right, there's a two upper function. We select that, we can see the description on the right side. It says format strings to all uppercase. That's exactly what we want. Let's add the customer name by clicking on that. And we can rename this to upper customer name. All right, we have our new field now and we can see that it's a calculated field by the equals icon next to the name. Let's add that to our chart. Let's remove our old name and now we have the customer name in all uppercase. We also have the ability to create multiple sheets in QuickSight. This is similar to Sheets in Excel. So the sheet name right now is Sheet 1. We can click the plus sign next to it and it'll add a new sheet. This is a great way to organize data within QuickSight in a single analysis. If we click on the name, we can rename it. And it's that simple. All right, let's take a look at our pie chart. There might be some things that we want to edit about how this looks. So let's do that now. We click on the menu next to the chart. We have the option to format the visual. I'm clicking the little gear icon to open this up and it pops up on the left-hand side. We can show or hide the title. Let's make this title large so it's really easy to see. The values look fine. The group colors look okay. Let's edit our legend. So right now it's on the right-hand side and it's a little hard to see, so let's move it to the top. We can also change the data labels. If we move them inside, they're a little hard to see, so let's leave those on the outside. Let's make the font a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. And we can also show the metric. So now we have an exact detail on what percentage this pie graph is representing. Um, the format visuals are a little bit different for each graph, but I think we've covered some of the most useful formatting visuals options that they have available. All right, so now this dashboard's done. 
We want to share it and publish it with our other employees. So let's do that. We can click share in the top right hand corner. We can publish to dashboard. Call it demo store and publish the dashboard. Now we can choose who we want to share this with. So we can type in email addresses of people and it'll invite them as a quick site user or, if, or they can sign up or you can share within people in your AWS account using their IAM role. So as you can see, this dashboard is a published view. So users can't change what's available. The graphs are formatted and set into stone and in which fields are added. The filters are available, but you can add additional filters if you'd like. But as soon as you refresh the screen, it'll bring it back to how the dashboard was originally created. So as my user, I can add things, change it a little bit, add some filters. But if I refresh the page, it'll go back to how the original user created the dashboard and published it. Open up the filters and wait for it to load for a minute. We can see those, we're back to our two original filters. All right, let's go back to our analysis for a moment. We can share this analysis, which is essentially a development dashboard. And we can share this with our other users as well. So share, share analysis, and you can type in the email addresses here or share with an IAM user. Hey everybody, thanks for watching our video and checking out our three-part series on Amazon QuickSight. If you'd like to learn more, please contact us at eaglodream.com or follow us on social media with the links in the description below.